Hi there. Um, today we're going to look at some guitars and the subject we're going to cover is the, what people call the lawsuit guitars on Japanese and actually Korean and whatever else in the, mostly in the seventies. Um, if you go on eBay, you always see people want to sell a cheap guitar that's probably worth 50 bucks. And they're asking five hundred dollars on it, and they make a big deal because it's a lawsuit guitar. Well, most of those people don't understand what the lawsuit was all about. Um, but in a nutshell, uh, it was about the headstock shape. The headstock shape can be trademarked, I guess, because that's the part that you know. It's not a matter of how good the guitar was, or that it was made just like a Gibson or a Fender. That has nothing to do with it. They they can completely copy a guitar. But you can't take, like, you can't use their name. You can't use the name Gibson or Fender. Well, the headstock is considered part of that. Part of that thing that is, you know, their uh, their property, intellectual property or whatever. So here, we're going to, I'm going to show you. Um, and this way, we can all know, you know, what the lawsuit's about. And we won't make these mistakes. Anyway, here... There's one. It's a Kimberly. Okay, that was made. Um, I think Tysco had something to do with that. Um, but they were made and sold at Lafayette Electronic Stores, which, for you know, old people out there, you'll remember Lafayette. They were, they're kind of like Radio Shack. Um, and in fact, the one, the one local Radio Shack that I, uh, or Lafayette that I used to go to at a local mall. Uh, when they went out of business, Radio Shack moved right into their old space. Um, but anyway, but that headstock, as you can see that, that looks like a Fender headstock. So that's, that's not good. You can't, you're not allowed to do that. Now here's a guitar. It has a Sokova name. And it's the same, same company made that as made this. And you can see the headstock's different. Well, that's Sokova's, you know, they did their own thing. That's that's fine. Got no problem with that, right? No problem at all. Um, here you have, this is an audition. An audition, and you see they rounded it off a little bit. So it's not exactly, it doesn't have the exact profile of a fender. So that's okay. There's another one. I don't know what that is. That's a, uh, I forget what, what maker that was. But same deal. You know, it's kind of this, it's kind of looks the same as the audition, but it's rounded. It's not the same. Now we get to, there's a global, I have a lot of global guitars. There's an early global. I say early because it has the globe logo, but you can see the headstock, it, it looks like a fender. So that's, that's probably not good. Here's one, actually the same guitar, same, well, this is a single pickup, but it's, this is like the two pickup version. And again, it's that's a mid-period global. It is a block inlay, but it has a fender style headstock. Yeah, you that that was the part that you can't do. There's another one. A natural colored one. Same thing. Okay. There's another global. Same thing. Now here's one. This is a strat copy. And it's a bad strat copy. I mean, the pickups are really big and nothing, nothing is exact on this, but that headstock looks to me like a seventies fender headstock. So you can't do that. So I imagine, you know, they were probably sued about that. Um, now as far as Gibson headstocks, now there, that's a later global and you can see the top of the headstock is rounded. Same with that one. Top is rounded. Whereas this one, this is, this is from their mid period, probably before the lawsuit with the block inlay, you can see that is a Gibson headstock. It has the, what they call the open book headstock. That's what that's supposed to look That top looks like a book laid open and you're looking down, you know, from the bottom of it, um, here. Here's an SG, a Gibson SG, and you can see it's got that open book headstock. So that, that wasn't good. 
You can't do that. That was part of the lawsuit. There's another global. Rounded top. Fine. There's another global. It has an even higher rounded top. Can't you? That's fine. Here's an SG, like a EB3 style copy base. Again, mid-period based on the logo. And has that open book headstock. That, that's part of the lawsuit. And then right behind it is another EB3 copy. This one has a carved top and has the later logo. So it must have been late 70s, early 80s after the, after the lawsuit. It has a rounded top. That's what they had to do to, uh, to get around that. Um, you know, it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't about quality or copying exactly. I, I mean, I've seen, I've heard so many stories and they're all wrong. It's all about headstock shape. So there you go. Um, and there were other, I mean, there's other stuff like here's a, here's an Alvarez from the seventies. It has that flat sort of head. Well, that's, that's Martin. That's a Martin headstock there with a flat top. Um, I mean, there's Harmony. That's pretty old. That has the same sort of flathead stock. Now I'd have to check. I'd have to check and see that, uh, you know, Martin is probably part of the, part of that whole lawsuit thing. Let me see what's over here. Yeah, here's a global. There's a global with a, fl you know, that, that, that looks like a Martin head stock to me. And then there, well, here's another global acoustic. And this has a higher uh, open book, which looks more like an Epiphone uh, sort of headstock. So I'm not, I, I would imagine that's not so good. And this one, that's a mid-period global, and it's not exactly like an open book. It's not exactly like a Gibson. It's a little flatter, but I would think they probably still got in trouble. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, there you go. That's just uh, some lawsuit information. And uh, yeah, uh, subscribe to my page, uh, like the videos, you know, stuff like that. It helps me make, make some money so I can keep doing this and not get a job. Thank you.